Hello, good afternoon. I can't believe it's Tuesday again. My name is Genevieve Coe and I'm excited to be here each Tuesday afternoon around 2 p.m. Eastern Time. I hop on to my Facebook Live, uh, Facebook page and I just share some stamping and I share announcements and news of what's going on in the Stampin' for Fun world. So I've been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for almost 14 years. I love to um, just kind of play with paper, create. Uh, I love feeling like, wow, look at what I made. Um, even though sometimes it's not that I'm awesome. I mean, you know what I mean. It's more that the Stampin' Up! products work so well and so easy together. So I have a great time playing and I have a great time sharing it with you. So my Facebook Lives are just a way that I get to share. I share in all different ways. I do private uh, classes. So if you wanna do something with your friends, I can customize something and I'll do private classes. I run my own classes. I, um, I share on social media through Facebook Lives. What else do I do? I do fundraisers, so all different kinds of things to just uh, help share the stamping inspiration. So great. Oh, it looks like this week is better. I can see some comments. Hi, Donna. Um, I think I saw someone else join in earlier. Wonderful. So I don't know what happened last week. I couldn't see any of the comments. So I was, I felt like I was talking in a void, but I was able to read the comments afterwards, which was wonderful. Yes, Kathy says the thunderstorms have started. I was gonna go for a walk before the live and I walked outside, walked a little bit down the street and there was like a huge like thunder kind of caught me off guard. So I like ran back to the house. So uh, yeah, hopefully Kathy, your internet sticks and you'll be able to watch live. Otherwise you can always watch the replay. It's usually just recorded there on my Facebook page. Hi, Pat. Okay, so we have tons of announcements this week. Whoa, tons of announcements. So uh, maybe I should flip it over and uh, it might be easier for you guys to see. Hi, Karen. How's the weather up there where you are? Hi, Jen. Uh, so yeah, lots of announcements. We are at the end of the month. And yeah, I can see everyone's a little worried that the storm's gonna cut out the internet. If the power goes out or if I suddenly go all black, you'll know that our power went out here. Um, I think it went out last night too. All our clocks were wonky this morning when we got up. So we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, let's flip it around. There's lots to share. I probably won't remember everything. So uh, you, you're gonna need to make sure you follow my blogs and watch for my emails. And hopefully you won't miss anything because there's always so much going on in the Stampin' for Fun world. And uh, I know it can just be woo a lot, but I know everybody's in different places in their stamping journey, in their life journey and whatever. So I like to offer a variety of options. Hello. Oh, you're very hot in Edmonton, Alberta. Good. That's good. At least you don't have the thunderstorms. Um, there was something I was going to say and I can't remember now. Oh yes, if you're new and you haven't joined me on Tuesday at two before, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, we're a friendly bunch around here, so don't be shy to comment. Even if you're watching the replay, go ahead and comment. Uh, I love to read the comments and I do enter you into a little drawing so that the following week I can just pick a winner from the comments. And of course, the greatest compliment is if you want to share this video with your other friends so they can see how easy it is to craft and to learn a little bit more about my Stampin' for fun business that would be superb okay so let me flip it over and i'll share some announcements hi gail good to see you okay let's see here okay maybe one day i should branch out and get more tech savvy so i don't have to do this flipping around business um and let's see if we can get rid of that shadow so does anyone have any big plans this week for Canada Day? Canada Day is coming up. I know there's, um, you know, kind of different. Everybody's probably pretty much laying low, but just wondered what people's plans are for this week. Okay, so some of the announcements going on here. 
Let's start with what's ending this month. So June 30th is the end of the month, and that means the end of the mini catalog, the January to June mini catalog. So it is the last chance, like last, last, last chance, if you want to nab any of those last chance deals or last chance items. You can always browse my online store. I've got this... Um, kind of one for all link where you can find all my other links. It's here, so just head over to there and you can click the browse and shop link and you can uh, check out what is happening there uh, and see which items are leaving because June 30th will be the last day for those. And, oh, that's nice, Pat's going to the trailer, that's great. Um, I'm actually going to Ottawa for Canada Day. I'll be in the nation's capital um, just for a little road trip, mostly to give my son, my youngest son, who just graduated from grade eight, something a little special because their class didn't go on any trip or anything. So we decided to to do a little road trip. And it's handy because my oldest son is living out there for his uh, co-op job this year. So we can visit him too. Okay, the other thing to know about the end of the month is that um, July 1st, so always, almost always, 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 the first of the month is the last day to register for that month's classes. Okay, so it is a big gap from the time you register till the time the class kind of happens or the tutorials are released. And that's just to give me time to cut, prep, mail, and everything. So it's actually been working okay. So hopefully you guys have got the swing of it now. If you want to register for classes, here's the link. You'll find a link to my class registration if you go here. Um, Linktree slash Stampin' for fun. And so here's a little sneak peek of what's coming in July. So we've got the Sweet and Simple card class. I'll start with that because that is the most value price class. So if any of you who are watching are newer to stamping, uh, maybe don't feel super confident with something like a technique class where there's kind of more fancy stuff going on, the Sweet and Simple class is for you. I prep, emboss, cut, everything, and you just use whatever stamps and ink you have because most things can be substituted. Um, but if you want to add on the feature stamp set that I'm using, you can certainly do that at a discounted price, okay? So that is a little sneak peek of my Sweet and Simple card class coming up in July. Um, so last day to register is July 1st. I have a Christmas in July class. Yeah, it's like a tradition, so I couldn't miss it this year. We're going to do a Christmas in July class. This Christmas in July class, there's no live Zoom. It'll all be tutorials because I figure if you're anything like me or, um, you know, you might have loose schedules over the summer or just like different schedules over the summer. So this way you don't have to worry whether you're going to miss the class. You're not going to miss it because I will email you the tutorials and you do everything on your own time. I'll, uh, mail or you can pick up your card pieces that has everything pre-cut for you and the embellishments you need and you're off to the races and then you get a head start on your holiday Christmas stuff and I know some of you love doing Christmas in July so you don't want to miss registering for that if you just tuned in don't forget you can register uh, at this link here link tree slash stampin for fun there's a link specifically there for my card classes for my different classes okay technique class this will have a live zoom it'll be 7 p.m on the fourth monday of july but if you can't make that time don't worry i do send out the tutorials in the video later and we're doing all cards that move okay so here's a little sneak peek on one of the cards here isn't that fun? So our little little element gets to be enjoyed on the outside and on the inside of the card. Okay, so make sure you register for technique class. You can register for one, you register for all. Everything is there. And then we've got the Sweet as a Peach stamp camp. Here's a little sneak peek. So it's mostly cards of the Sweet, and, Sweet as a Peach stamp camp, but I couldn't resist doing a little... Uh, a little 3D item as well. Uh, so the great thing about uh, Sweet as a Peach, Christmas in July, and then also the Create with Friends, I don't have a sneak peek for that, is uh, they're, they're all part of the Sweet as a Peach stamp camp. And I'm partnering with my buddy Jennifer Cotton in the US. So if you're watching and you're from the USA, yes, you can register too. So because Jennifer will take care of you, okay? But just, I think if you go to my link, 
um, you'll probably see her link in there. Go to my upcoming classes link in here, and then when you go to register for the Sweet as a Peach, it'll have an option if you're in the U.S. Okay, so the Sweet as so you don't have to take them all, but if you do take the Sweet as a Peach Stamp Camp, the Christmas in July, and Jennifer's Million Dollar uh, Class Create with Friends, if you take all three as part of your Stamp Camp experience, then you'll actually get a bonus gift as well. So. That's like a summer stamp camp. It's all via tutorials. We'll have an exclusive Facebook group so that you can uh, just start enjoying and start um, doing it kind of on your own time with the tutorials and the Facebook group will have some extra bonus resources. Okay, so if you want to take advantage of the Sweet as a Peach Stamp Camp, we are down to the wire, my friends. Okay, what are we now? It's the 29th. We have like two days left to register. Okay, and then we're going to be cutting madly and getting everything ready. You don't want to miss it because it'll be sad if you, if you wish you had done it and then it's too late. Okay, so that's just some of the upcoming classes coming up. Um, da -da -da. Oh, the other new link that I added here, it's not new, but it's been there before, but I just updated it, the request a catalog. Okay, so it is soon time to get ready for the next mini catalog. We talked about June 30th being the last day for the kind of the spring mini catalog. We're saying farewell. So the fall holiday mini catalog, I think the official name is July to August mini catalog, although it's actually starting in August. Uh, July to December mini catalog, sorry. Um, if you want a copy of that along with the celebration brochure, this is the first time ever Stampin' Up! is doing a kind of summer celebration. Head here, click request a catalog. Now, if you're one of my Stampin' for Fun Club members, no need. I, I've got you covered for sure. I'll, I'll get you one. But everyone else, you should register for your catalog so that I can... <laughs> get those organized. I'm allowed to start ordering catalogs July 1st, so I'll order them to me, pack them in envelopes for you, and then get it off to you. So hopefully by uh, second last or at the latest, the last week of July, they will be gone in the mail to you and you'll be all set for August when the catalog goes live. Okay, so let me know if any of those announcements you need any clarification because I'm trying to watch the comments. They all of a sudden stopped, so I don't know whether whether this is like last week where there's no comments or whether you guys are just listening and enjoying. I don't know. Okay, other thing, announcements to tell you. Um, okay, so summer. Let's talk about July and August. So now we're done talking about the things that are leaving in June. Let's talk about what's happening July and August. We've got my sizzling summer bonus, okay? I want to give you bonus gifts. You can just take a look here and see which bonus gifts you want to redeem. You can get all of them, some of them, whatever you want. Um, grab those bonus gifts while you can. I love it when you introduce my friend, your friends to me to enjoy stamping with me and enjoy what I do. I will give you a $10 gift certificate for every new friend that you refer to me this summer. They can come to me and enjoy a class or they can decide to shop. Anything like that would be wonderful. I love to meet new friends and it's the greatest compliment of all when you uh, send your friends my way. Um, a free card class. I'd love to give you that in the fall. So I have so many events happening this summer. I don't want you to miss any of them. I have far more than six going on this summer when you count July and August. So it won't be hard if you want to register for six or more classes in the summer. You'll get a free card class in the fall. And then best thing ever, you want a free stamp set from the new catalog? It's easy. Just book a stamp and social with me. We can do your party in the fall, um, but just as long as we kind of pencil in the date sometime this summer, I will reserve you that free stamp set. Anyone you want, up to a $40 value. So these are my gifts to you this summer, and I hope you'll take advantage. So speaking of getting a free stamp set for hosting your own stamp and social, I tried to simplify things in case you were feeling overwhelmed about how to host a party. And I'll tell you, it's not hard to host a party. I pretty much do all the work. So I'm giving uh, two really simple options to host your party this fall, even if you want to do it in the summer, as fine. Um, it's a pick a kit party. Okay. So you and your friends can just pick a kit. I'll make sure they get shipped to you. We'll hop online together and we will have fun crafting and chatting and I will do extra bonus stamping demonstrations for the people at your party. 
if and that's like those kits are really inexpensive they run from about $17 to $27 so you can't beat that and they make like nine cards uh, so the value is incredible and you'll get my expertise as I lead and instruct the party okay so if you if you have been thinking about hosting but you're worried it's too much trouble I'm telling you now is the best time because we're doing it all online <laughs> before we get back to all the in-person and you feel like you have to clean your house or bake cookies or something let's do it online pick a kit party the other uh, simple option is the coffee and a card party it's totally free I'll just give everybody one card mail it off to them and they can make it during the party and I'll do a number of stamping demonstrations and uh, catch everyone up to speed on what's available with Stampin' Up and uh, that's easy and so all you have to do is book one of these parties with me and boom I'm reserving a free stamp set for you as part of my summer special okay so anybody can host a party there's there's really no no restrictions there anybody can host a party okay what else is coming in the summer July 1st Stampin' Up has announced a designer series paper sale so um, I think they are like 20% off. Does it say 15%? Okay, 15% off the regular price. So I don't know if you've been studying your catalog, but you can see there are a number of papers from the annual catalog that'll be discounted and on sale. A general rule is that, that it's not our specialty papers, it's our regular papers, okay? So you guys can start your wish list going for that and when July 1st hits, you'll be off to the races. Okay, so I think we're ready to dive into some stamping. Don't forget if you just joined in, I love to read your comments, so let me know if you have any questions. I love to show different ways to use Stampin' Up! products to create all kinds of things. Each month, I like to um, pick a product. Oh my gosh, I thought I was so organized here. I've got all my little flyers. I didn't bring the stamp set that I need to use, so you're going to have to excuse me while I dig in my closet and get it. Um, but uh, because this month's product is the Simply Succulent stamp set with the Potted Succulents die so it's really focusing on the bundle so while i'm digging around for my stamp set let me show you what we've made all month hang on so i think week one we made this card look at the glimmer okay <laughs> i'm just laughing at myself here i am thinking it happens all the time those of you who watch regularly you know the times when i'm not organized and I know I'm not organized, everything goes smoothly. When I actually try to organize myself, that's when I'm like, oh, I forgot this, I forgot that. Okay, so that was week one. Week two, we made like a cute little gift box with little note cards inside. Hi, Serena. Okay, and then week three, we did a soft succulent card. I, I did a couple, I found my original here. Okay, and then week four i was showing the tone on tone and also got another chance to use that delicate die here from that same die set and we actually have five weeks in june so i get to do something else with the uh, simply succulent bundle here but you just admire these projects while i dig in my closet and look for the stamp set that i did not bring hang on <laughs> talk amongst yourselves Okay, so there's the stamp set, and let's see whether I can find the paper that I wanted to use. I might have to do without it. What if I can't find it? That might be a problem. Oh, no, I found it. Okay, so I think we are ready to rumble now. I know Karen's like, you're so funny. I don't know. It's all good. It's all good. And I missed it. I'm spending all this time showing you my table. You guys, well, I don't know. I felt it was exciting. You guys are like my big outing today. I put on a nice shirt. I even put on earrings, but you can't see my earrings because, you know, you're staring at my table. But all good, all good. Okay, so this is the last week that I'm showcasing this. Next month on Tuesday will be July, so there'll be a new product of the month to showcase. Um, but don't forget, if you want to get the bundle with the dies and the stamp set together, 
and you get to save 10% when you buy them together. This is the last chance, uh, end of June. After, like, after June 30th, you can still buy the products, you just won't be able to get the bundled price. Okay, so I am, for those of you who are sort of local to me, I am putting in a group order fairly soon today. So let me know if you want to tack on anything. Okay, so let's get started with today's project. Da -da -da. Okay, we've got our stamp set. And I can't resist. I was like, oh, I'm not really doing a great variety of colors. It's either purple or pink lately. But oh well, maybe my mood will change and I'll end up with other colors next week. Who knows? Let's, uh, I'm using the Gorgeous Grape, and I am going to uh, cut at the five and a half mark, okay? So Stampin' Up! has all sorts of wonderful colors and different shades, and they all have names. So the great thing about the names is that if you know you're using Gorgeous Grape cardstock, then you know you can just reach for your Coordinating Gorgeous Grape ink, and it's going to match. It's going to be great. So that's one of the things I love about Stampin' Up! product is the coordination. Okay, so we'll do some shades of purple today. We've got our gorgeous grape, and then let's do our Highland Heather. Okay, so it's just a different kind of purple there. Let's see, what have I got? I've got, see, I keep all these scraps. I'm trying to see whether I can use some of these scraps. Maybe not. Mm. Okay, let's use this one. Okay, and then we'll cut that at four inches by five and a quarter. So that's a pretty common measurement that I do just to give a, like a, a little border around my layer. Okay, so see it's like four inches by five and a quarter inches. It gives a nice little border there. Okay, and then I'm going to do one more layer. Okay, I'm going to do one more layer with the basic white cardstock. And we will cut it a quarter of an inch smaller again. So we are going to go three and three quarters. Okay. Three and three quarters by five inches. Okay. There we go. So simple and easy layers. When If you're um, not sure where to start, sometimes just doing the layers helps you to get started. Okay, so if you recall, if you've been watching every week and I've been showcasing the stamp set and the coordinating dies, this, uh, this card actually came about after last week's live because I had used this die. Okay, so the, these die sets... Um, they're all on my blog, all of the past videos, so you can kind of see there's the dies that coordinate with the stamp set, okay? But there's also extra label dies, and then there's these, like, bonus dies that um, add extra to the, like, see, we used it on this card here, right? So we have the dies that coordinate with the stamps, and then we have these extra dies. So anyway, I think these dies are great. Plus, you've got all these labels. And then we've got also included in this die set, see, it's still here from last week, um, this nice kind of delicate background. I don't even know if it's a background die, but kind of like a, it's the size of like a full card front almost, okay? So last week, see, we had created, I was going with that tone-on-tone -tone look. And I had cut that out through the cut and emboss machine and gotten that lovely layer. So we had used adhesive sheets to, to stick that down. Oh, that's the another thing that's ending. My June online ordering special is ending. So if you want to shop online by the end of June, June 30th, if your order is at least $60, you'll also get a free gift from me, the four sheets of the adhesive sheets. Okay, so this card came about from last week because I had... Um, cut out one of the dies, but I had forgotten to put the adhesive sheet on. So I just had this piece lying there because I had wanted to show you guys how to use the adhesive sheets. And then I was like, wait, I think this can be like a mask. <laughs> so I'm going to like put it on to on top of my white cardstock here. And I've just got a little bit of tape, washi tape here to just kind of keep this in place a bit. 
okay? And then I am going to use it like a stencil or a mask. So let me grab one of my sponges here. Um, I keep my sponges in this sort of like toolbox. Um, yeah, like a, we'll just use like a little purpley one. Uh, maybe this one's better. Okay, so let me put this away. Okay, and then I am gonna use like, I think the Highland Heather would be fine, just so that it's not too dark. Okay, and this is just another way to apply color. So I'm doing, I'm pouncing, I guess that's the word, okay? So I'm just pouncing on top of this die cut with my basic white paper underneath, okay? And I'm just pouncing on, I didn't um, use washi tape on the layer below, so I'm trying not to make sure that I'm not moving that paper. I used washi tape for kind of the stencil, but let's see how it goes. Hopefully I can have a steady enough hand. Okay, and we're just gonna pounce right onto the stencil so that the ink is being applied onto the basic white paper that is underneath. Okay, that should be pretty good. If it's not perfect, it doesn't matter because it's handmade, so imperfection is actually a wonderful charm. There we go. Okay, so that is another way that we can use this die and stamp set combo. I kind of thought afterwards, I'm like, could I have just used the you know, kind of just use the dye itself, but I didn't want to put ink on the dye. So I think it's better to roll it out on the paper first, get your outline. And then even if you wanted to, this thing is not, like if I had thought maybe color combo a little better, you could still use this on a card, I think, if you wanted to, okay? So isn't that, <clears throat> doesn't it give a really neat effect? I was so happy. It, and it literally came about just because after last week's, last week's class, I had, um, you know, I had that extra piece lying there and I kind of looked at it and I thought, oh, I'm going to do something with that. And this is what happened. This is what came out. Okay. So that is another way you can use that. So we'll just finish off the card. Now we can just decorate and embellish and go with it. Okay, so this is like a technique called sponging, um, masking. I don't know what you want to call it, but that is good. Let's get my seal adhesive here and we'll stick it down. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm glad you like that idea. Yeah. See, that's why I'm glad you guys tune in. I'm happy to share my ideas with you. I love sharing my ideas with you. I mean, I'm sure I didn't invent this idea. I'm sure other people have done it too, but it just kind of, there we go. Oh yes, okay, so Sarah's saying it probably doesn't work because there's all these little extra holes to help us poke out poke out our, our paper. So it does work better with the actual die to use as a stencil. Okay, good. Okay, so we'll stick that down. And now we can just embellish and dress it up. I mean, it already looks pretty good just the way it is, right? You could decide if you wanted it landscape or you wanted it portrait. So I feel like, hi, Joy. I feel like um, when we've got something so fancy as a background, I didn't want to go crazy with a lot of stuff on top. So I thought we just need to keep it simple. So I grabbed one of our, uh, the little labels that are included in that die set. We'll use a little scrap of whisper, uh, sorry, basic white. Let me stamp the sentiment. Um, I'm gonna use the one that says kind people are my kind of people. So let me put that on. Okay. So I love it that I don't have to, uh, do any fancy artwork. The Stampin' Up! artists have already done the nice font for us. I literally just have to put the stamp on my block 
grab the coordinating ink pad. So I'm going to go with the gorgeous grape, the same color as this cardstock. And then I am going to go ahead and stamp. So we don't have to push super hard. We just tap, 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 straight down, straight up. Okay, easy, crisp, clean, showcases the, uh, the ink color and the nice font there. Okay, so let's go ahead and I cut it out. I've uh, got my little mini cut and emboss machine. I always feel like, oh, my big one's so big. It's blocking up my whole table. So I was like, wait, I have the mini cut and emboss so we can use that. Okay. So the mini cut and emboss machine is good for those of you who have tight spaces in your home or you want to take it to places and craft. It's lightweight. But if you already have the regular size, there's no need for the mini unless you, like me, just want different options depending on your mood or your space. Okay. Just roll that through and look it. We've got our little shape. It even has stitching on it. I love it. Okay, so let's put that away. That's good. I don't want to lose the die. Okay, and then I think it's it's nice. We could leave it like that because, as I said, I don't want to overpower anything with all this fun background going on in the back. But I just felt like a little splash of color here might be nice and maybe a little over here. So I went to my ribbon drawer and I was like, oh yes, this is the ribbon we shall use. Um, it's the grow grain ribbon. It's about half an inch, but there's actually almost like a little bit of glitter inside. Okay, and it's Highland Heather, so perfect. It matches with our Highland Heather cardstock. So let's, let's take a little bit of that. Okay, and we can pop it behind there. So we've got a little bling. I think it's always, <laughs> you can never go wrong with just a little bit of bling, right? Okay, so we'll put that behind. It's a very pretty ribbon. I agree, Serena. I agree. First of all, it's a nice color. Second of all, did I mention that it has glitter? <laughs> I think I mentioned that, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you can use your regular adhesive, but I thought, oh, maybe I'll just put a piece of scotch tape because no one can see the back anyway. Okay, we can kind of pop that up there. I don't know whether you want it in the center. I'm going to do it the bottom right corner, I think. And then these are like foam dimensionals. We'll put that on, give it a bit of pop. Okay, and then I thought, hmm, I was kind of looking in here, what die should I use? So I grabbed one of these kind of extra bonus dies in here. There's like this one that has, I guess it's supposed to be a succulent, I don't know, some kind of flower with all these petals. So let's cut this out. Um, and I wanted to just kind of get a little bit of matching with the bling that we have going here. And of course, we've got the whole purple theme going on. So I grabbed the uh, specialty paper, the ombre specialty paper, because we have a little bit of the purple in there. So let's, let's do that. Let me see. So when you buy the ombre paper, there's a few different colors. Maybe I should take it out to show you guys. So you can see all the colors included in the pack. Okay, there's like a purple one, kind of like a poppy parade one, and like a maybe like a bumblebee or daffodil delight and then we've got like a misty moonlight kind of one okay so that's in all you get one sheet of each i'm gonna snip a tiny bit of the this color to have it go with our project okay and so if anything I'm showing you catches your eye, don't forget that I do have the June online ordering special that ends this month where you'll get 
uh, oh, I can't put that away, um, four adhesive sheets with your online order. Okay, and we're gonna use the adhesive sheets now. This, this die is a perfect excuse to use the adhesive sheet because you see how small and fine it is. Okay, oh, sorry, we've got stuff stuck in here. We have to poke it out before I roll, before I roll again. Okay, so I just need like a tiny little bit, I don't know. Uh, just over an inch. So maybe like an inch and a quarter or so. Okay. There we go. So we can choose whether we want the darker or the lighter. I think I'm gonna go with maybe the darker, darker end. Okay. And then before I roll it through my cut and emboss machine, I am going to see if I can use some of the adhesive sheets. So these are the adhesive sheets I was talking about that you can get uh, free with your June online order. It's just my way of saying thanks for taking care of your order on your own. Just head to my online store. Just go to the link tree slash stampin' for fun and head to the browse and shop page. So I should probably have used a trimmer, but I'm not. Okay. Yep, that'll work. Okay. And then the adhesive sheet, all you have to do to use it is peel off the backing. Just try the best you can not to get your fingers touching the adhesive because it's super sticky and then you find everything you touch afterwards gets a little gummy. Okay, sorry, just trying to figure out how to peel it off here. It's just got a backing. There you go. You can see it. See how sticky it is? Okay, so I am putting it on the opposite side, not the glitter side, the other side. Okay, sort of the back of it. Okay, and then the die will go on the side that I want showing face up. Okay, so we'll get our little, little machine here, cut and emboss machine. So if some of you are nervous about getting the big cut and emboss, you don't have anything like that, but you want to get some of these fancy patterns and fancy dies, then you can check um, and try the mini machine first. So of course, but my only fear is that, you know, you'll get the mini machine and not all the sizes will fit in it, right? Only the smaller dies and the smaller embossing folders. Okay, can I get it through there? Roll, roll, roll. And then you'll be like, oh, I gotta buy the big one anyway after you fall in love with it, but. Okay, there you go. If you're just tuning in, don't be shy to say hi. I love to hear who's watching and learning and connecting together. Okay, there we go. Perfect, we have our adhesive sheet right on it. Okay, so let's just pop this baby out. And so the die is meant to just be, yeah. So I'm peeling this off. Okay, so it turned it into a sticker. Okay, so I would love to give you some adhesive sheets free with your order, but you only have till June 30th to take advantage of this shopping special. But in July, there'll be another shopping special for you. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so you can either have it just popping up, you can push it down, whatever you want. Okay, so here's my original sample, same idea. Hopefully you liked how I did the background with the sponge. And that is our fifth project for this month, showcasing the Simply Succulents bundle. Last chance to get this bundle at 10% off. June 30th is your deadline. So just head to my um, online store. You, all my links are here. And don't forget, oh, I'm glad you love it, Emily. Don't forget that uh, if you want one of the holiday catalogs and celebration brochures, um, you're gonna need to request one through my link. And uh, 
all the details will be there. If you've shopped with me in the past six months, then um, I send out catalogs for free. It's, it's just a customer service piece that I offer. If you haven't shopped with me before, or you have another demonstrator, but for some reason they don't provide catalogs, you can certainly get one from me. There's just a $7 charge. Um, but if you do decide to order in August or September, I'll refund that $7. Okay, so that's the scoop on how to get your catalogs to get ready for what's happening in um, August. And I guess that's it. Okay, so let me show, and that's the end. For, that's, that's a wrap for June. So you guys will definitely have to tune back in next week. Um, yep, I believe I'm here next week. We haven't started our camping adventures yet, so I think I'm here next week. Um, and there'll be a new product of the month to showcase. I think I know what I'm going to do, but I'll have to play around first. So week one. So hopefully you got a great idea or different ways to use the Simply Succulents bundle. Okay, yeah, I kind of had a purple thing going, eh? I did manage to, I think I just felt succulents, everyone's going to do green, everyone's thinking green, and I just wanted to kind of get out of the, get out of the usual a bit. And then today's project, I don't know whether you can see them all, but hopefully you got lots of ideas this month on how to use that bundle, and you know where to shop for that bundle. Uh, if you have any trouble at all, you can contact me. My email uh, is listed at the top when you click that link. Um, or you can message me on Facebook too. Okay, so have a great week. Let me flip the camera around so I can say a proper farewell. Uh, okay. There we go. I know, I loved it too. Oh, you like my nails? Yeah, <laughs> I've been playing. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's so great to connect with you guys. Um, don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have any questions about the products. If you want to host a Stampin' Social, I think it would be super fun. And it's a way for you to get some free product. If you're not, if your budget isn't able to let you get everything, a Stampin' Social can really help. And you know for sure that I'll be giving you a free stamp set as a thank you from me for hosting. Okay, so there's lots going on. Have a great week, and we will see you next week. Bye.